Hello fellow heroes, this is Adivan. I'm going to do a uh, quick video on some of the gear I use when gaming. This is the Logitech G13 Advanced Game Board. It has uh, 25 programmable keys, pro programmable joystick, uh, you can have 16 million color combinations for your keyboard there. Not really that big a deal. Uh, and you can also save multiple profiles for different games or different builds that you want to use. See, comes in high speed case like this. Not really that big a deal. The neat thing is, I've been using one for a while. Now here comes some bad news real fast. The uh, button I have assigned for jumping is toast. It was working one night, came back, and I don't know what happened. Uh, haven't got it to work. Haven't got it to work with any game, any input in the uh, keyboard nothing so Amazon was kind enough to send me a new one because I only had it a couple months and I'll be sending this one back to be refurbished and I'm gonna keep talking to their uh, people to find out what was wrong with it alright now I'm gonna go ahead and bring up some stuff we'll check out the setup okay once you have the Logitech software uh, booted up you can go ahead and customize it how you want to uh, it also has, you know, profiles to go, so you can save them on the cloud and use them from there. A uh, bunch of other little playful things over here that I never mess with. This is how you change your color for your settings. And this is where you customize the keys. All right. As you can see, I have it pretty much set up similar to a regular keyboard with the forward, left, turn left, turn right, strafe right, backwards, strafe left, and down. The F keys are for activating uh, equipment, items, and I use the top row for powers. This is my range setup. So powers I have set up over here, my major powers that I use all the time, such as Force Cascade, or the Crushing Debuff, or a this activates your energy builder. So you just tap up on the pad and it activates your energy builder. Uh, I have jump set to this button and block set here so it's really quick and easy to use I also have a couple blocks in here for let's go to healing real quick this is my healing setup where it'll change the colors on the, on the actual machine as well uh, I'm gonna have these set up as my different builds such as AORP AOPM or AOAC so I just have to tap the key there and it'll switch to whatever or I want to run at the time uh, most of the, because this knows champions, the uh, it has the default champions uh, information here, where you can set your devices or all the high speed pre-made keys are over here where you just pick them up and drag them. So if I want to do tog or target first enemy or, or target next enemy or nearest enemy or nearest teammate, I just have to go over here, select it drag and drop it over onto whatever key I want it to be and it updates right there. I have all of my setups basically the same and it'll go through fairly easy. For my melee setup, for you'll see the powers are similar. I'll use a charge power but if I want to use a combo power all I have to do is hold the direction or hold the joystick in this direction and it'll keep repeating while it's pressed so I don't have to keep tapping it over for each uh, iteration of the combo it'll just automatically happen while I just hold it over so it makes combos a lot simpler you don't have to keep tapping the button you just hold the hold the uh, joystick in the direction and the combo will naturally keep repeating forever alrighty so you see my basic setup for uh, ranged again, force cascade, just hold it over, charges, let it go, do it again over and over and over. I could actually set it up so if I hold it once, I can just keep holding it over and it'll charge for three seconds, fire it, and then it'll start the uh, situation or start the whole thing over again or the power sequence over again. But you know, it's not really needed. Um, yeah, the only downfall for the melee is because it's all. Everything you're doing here is with your left hand. 
Uh, sometimes it's difficult to move and fight at the same time, but most of my characters are set up. You just get into position and you just whack away or blast away from whatever position you're at. I don't have to do a lot of strafing running around circling a target. Alright, we're going to do a uh, quick practical demonstration. You see, uh, you should be able to see me moving the mouse around, De unselecting, uh, selecting and unselecting the test dummy there. Alright, now here we go. I'm going to go ahead and hold the joystick to my left or right to fire first force cascade. Bam. Alright. I'm going to jump, I'm going to block, I'm going to use another power, moving forward, moving back, strafe, strafe, block, move, jump, turn, look around, nifty neat and cool, pam, and blast, repeat, Want to fire up the uh, energy builder? There's my uh, well conviction heal. There we go. Activate my flight. On that auto or auto run. Turn it off. Back it up. Down. All nice and easy, just like a keyboard. Yeah, but of course, you know, really pour it on right here. And boom. Pretty simple, huh? Yeah, I'm uh, rather enjoying this. Well, uh, some of the pros of this system are it, it kind of frees up your hand to do a lot more things in a faster method, especially with the joystick. I really like putting the powers there. I tried to put the movements on the joystick for a while, and I, I didn't care for it especially. Um, it, it gets kind of confusing when you're hitting up like that. And whatnot. Uh, and of course, you can also cancel the uh, energy builder just like, just as fast as you can activate it. Boom! I have this set up so it just repeats forever. It doesn't charge this uh, power, but when you switch over to the melee systems, it works a lot better. Maybe I'll show that later on some other video. But uh, for the most part, this is what you got. Hope you guys enjoyed, and oh, stay safe. Real quick, pros, you know, ease of access, more keys, um, easier to put binds. You can also write your own binds onto the system for macros. So you just press the button and it does all kinds of different things. I'm not that into the game or anything else for that matter. So I don't need to do that. But other people will find that more useful than I will. Some of the cons. Well, this is my second one. Right off the bat. I don't know what happened, just it, the jump button just decided to stop working. It's not like I beat on it and slammed the buttons. The only button I might slam is the block to get that up as quick as possible. But, you know, for the most part, the joystick takes more beating than anything else. Just bouncing back and forth. Uh, and my joystick on the other one worked great. I like being able to switch between systems and... Uh, 
or switch between profiles and everything works great. I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, stayed through this long video. If you guys want to see anything else or know anything else, feel free to ask and I'll do what I can. Stay safe.